Hey wine lovers, it's your girl Candace Lynn, Wanted On Me, back at it again with another video. Today I'm going to be doing my first ever wine review, wine tasting with you all. But before we get into it, please make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel so you can be the first to know when my videos drop. Also, if you have not done so, please go back and watch my previous video, uh, my introductory video, just because it, it ties into what I'm gonna be talking about and speaking on in today's video. If you've already watched it, thank you. You're awesome, you're the real MVP, and let's keep it going. Um, so as I said earlier, I'm gonna be doing a review today um, on the McBride Sisters Black Girl Magic Rose. And, um, the reason why I chose this one is because it goes goes into like what I was saying in the previous video that when I first started taking wine classes and really becoming serious about wine, uh, whether it be in classes or going to tastings, I did not see a lot of people that looked like me, meaning I did not see a lot of females and I most certainly, if at all, did not see any black females. Now I'm not saying that we have not been out there and that we are not changing the game and doing some awesome stuff in the wine world. But just in you know where I'm navigating locally, I did not see many um, many black folks in the wine world. Um, so I figured that I wanted to start off my first review showcasing a black-owned wine company. Um, so as I said, it, we're going to be talking about the McBride sisters today. But before I even get into the bottle and talking about the bottle, I want to give just a quick little backstory on the sisters. So here you have two sisters. Yes, they're sisters, but they're also sisters. They're siblings um, who grew up on two different continents. So you have Robin and Andrea. One grew up here in the US in California and then you have the other sister who grew up in New Zealand. Now they had no idea the other existed. They had no idea the other existed here for like half their life. And then it boom, bam, thanks to some blessings, 1999, they find each other and they rekindle and they're talking and then they find out that they share a love and a passion for wine. Not only do they like sipping wine, you know, and enjoying a nice glass, but they found out that like, wait a second, you like wine, I like wine. You like to make wine, I like to make wine. So here you have two sisters, had no idea the other existed, lived on two different continents, but yet share a passion for Say wine. What? So they took that passion and here we are in 2020 and they are the largest black owned wine company in the United States. Let me say that again. They are the largest black owned wine company in the US. That's crazy. They went from not knowing each other to building up this great, amazing wine company. All right, so now that we know a little bit about them, let's get into the wine. So the name is the McBride Sisters. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Black Girl Magic Rosé. So let's just take a look at this, this label. I love the label, I love the gold, I love the black, I love the white. It's super sleek and sexy. Yes, wine labels can be sexy to me. Judge if you want, whatever. Um, yeah, so I, ordered this from their website online and I ordered it in a bundle. I ordered it in a bundle. Um, so in the bundle you get four wines. You get, of course, you get the, the rosé, but you also get Chardonnay, you get the Sparkling Brut Rosé, and you get a red blend. So be on the lookout for me to do some reviews and tastings on those as well. Um, but let's get into it. Let's get into it. So. This is a 2018 vintage, meaning that um, the grapes used to make this wine were harvested in 2018. It has a 13.5% alcohol, so it's up there, and um, it's uh, from California. And then let's just go and read, I'm just gonna read the, the back label for you. Um, it says, Black Girl Magic is a term we use often, but what is it? What does it look, sound, feel, and taste like? Maybe it doesn't mean celestial perfection. Better yet, it signifies the magic within us that allows us to persevere, to create, and slay with the best and with so much finesse. Our elegant rosé has vibrant flavors of strawberries, 
raspberries, and Meyer lemon with aromatic notes of fragrant white florals. Absolute black girl magic. All right, so let's get into the fun part. I already took the foil off because who has time for that? Ain't um, nobody got let's, time for that. You know, open up this bad boy. Let's get it open. Um, I kind of broke my wine key um, some time ago. I gotta get a new one. Um, so let's just hope that I can get this open with no problems. You know, let's get this cork on up out of there. All right, cool. Uh-oh, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through the simple steps. I'm gonna keep it super simple just for today's video. We can get into the five S's of wine tasting, but I really just want to focus on the wine that's in this bottle. So the first thing we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna pour it in. I'm just gonna pour just a little bit. I'm not gonna get all crazy how I normally do. Um, and the first thing you wanna do is, you wanna just like look at the wine. So you wanna just, the first one is see. You wanna see the wine, meaning use your eyes to, to look at the wine, to observe it. Um, over a white, you know, um, background be great. So that really helps you. You can just put a white piece of paper down, look over it. And I would just say this is like, this is obviously a pale pink. So we're, it's not a white, it's most certainly not a red wine. So we're working with a rosé here. Um, and we can get into the legs, talk about the alcohol and all that another time. Like I said, I just want to focus on tasting this wine. Uh, so the first thing we see, like we see it, we're looking at it. He said it's pale pink. Um, and then the next thing you want to do is you want to swirl your glass. So if you're feeling spicy and you're feeling risque, you can just swirl it, you know, like, like so. You can swirl it, feeling risque. Or if you're not feeling that comfortable yet, you can just put it down on a stable surface and just put, I kind of like put my middle finger and my index finger on the base of it down here. And I just put it on a surface and I just swirl it, right? You can hear it swirling on, on my table. Um, so then you swirl it and that just, you know, helps aerate and get the air flowing for the next step where you're gonna sniff it. So you're gonna stick your nose, don't be afraid, put your nose right on down in that bad boy. And you're gonna sniff. Now, this is where, you know, wine can get a little intimidating for folks or it can just like kind of go over people's heads. But we're not gonna do that here. Not on, not on this channel, not on Wine and On Me. Um, so it's whatever you smell in the glass, right? Now, you can't just say some off the wall stuff, but like, you know, what do you smell when you stick your nose on in it? So I'm definitely getting like red fruit for sure. I'm definitely getting, I'm definitely getting strawberries. I'm, I am getting some raspberries. And I am getting like citrus. So they said lemon, but I'm also getting like, I'm also getting some grapefruit. I don't know, I'm getting some grapefruit, but it also reminds me, I don't remember the company. I think it's simply orange, but they make like a um, raspberry lemonade. This is like definitely giving me some like raspberry lemonade. And I do, I do get the floral, that floral, those floral notes. So I'm getting strawberry, raspberries, citrus. So definitely some red fruit in there. So we did, we looked at the wine, see, we swirled, we sniffed. And now my favorite pot, we're going to sip the wine, right? So you wanna just put a little bit on your palate, your tongue. You wanna take a little air in. Oh, it's definitely, there's definitely some acidity there. Like my mouth is watering. There's definitely some acidity there. You wanna take some air in just to like help with those flavors of what you're getting on, on the tongue. So like I said, there's definitely some acidity. My mouth is watering. Um, I am getting those strawberry, the strawberry citrus. Mm-hmm. It's fruity but it's not like, it's not sweet. It's definitely, I would not consider this a very sweet wine. It's definitely not sweet, but it is like, it's, it is it is fruity. Like I said, it has some uh, acidity in there because I can just tell when my mouth, um, that's just how my mouth reacted to it. Um, but I'm definitely getting the strawberries. I'm definitely getting some citrus notes. 
uh, this is like super refreshing. Like this is a summer sipper. This is a summer sipper. Like this is like, like as refreshing as like when you leave the grocery store, you get in your car and you take your mask off and you're just like, <sighs> like I'm just, it's, it's that refreshing. This is definitely a summer sipper. Definitely something you could sip on. I mean, honestly, with anything, like whether you're barbecuing, me personally, I'm vegetarian, but I could definitely have this with some roasted veggies. Um, you could have this with a salad. You could have this with some chicken. Uh, so anything you want to just throw out on the grill, if you, you can have this sitting out on your stoop, sitting out on your deck, sitting out on your porch, sitting in your room, watching Netflix. Um, this is definitely something I will be sipping on in the summer. Like, It's super light, it's super refreshing. It's, you know, it's not bold. It's like, all I can keep saying is it's refreshing. It's fruity, but it's not sweet. Um, this is definitely something I will buy again. So if you've had the Black Girl Magic Rosé, what did you think of it? Um, what were some of the notes you were getting? Did you get, did you get the strawberry? Did you get the citrus? Did you get grapefruit? Um, did you get something totally different? That's perfectly fine. Uh, if you have not tried it, I definitely suggest this. This is like, this is bomb. This is really good. Um, when this video's over, I'm just gonna like, this is definitely chuggable. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely gonna drink this bad boy tonight. Um, and if you've ever had any of the other, their other wines that I mentioned, what did you think about those? Um, let me know in the comments, what, what, what did you get? Uh, when you taste this wine, what are some of their other wines that you recommend? Um, I really enjoy this wine. I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend it if you have not had it already. Um, and with that, I'm going to let y'all go. So until then, wine it on me. Peace out, y'all.